Now, as we all know, life happens, so having a backup plan is always the best strategy, especially when it has to do with running a successful business. There are a few ways you can have copies of your reservations sent to you or saved on a device. We will go over each one of these ways and how to get a little more data out of the system that we might need. The first thing I would recommend is setting up the email reservation manifest. So let's click on the My Office button in the toolbar. Under the company settings tab, you'll see a button that says messaging templates and settings. Select this button. Then we'll go to the tab that says email res manifest. Let's enable this feature. Set the date range that I would like this manifest to display. Choose how often I would like it to be sent out. Set my start time. In this case, I would like it to start at 8 a.m. And then I'll leave these drop down options blank because I would like to see all the trip information. I'll also include airport pickup instructions, routing notes, and trip notes. So I'll check these three boxes. I don't want to exclude any data, so I'll leave these check boxes unchecked. And then I'll add the email address or email addresses I want this list to be sent out to. Once I've put all this information in, I'll save the settings. So now the system will start sending out an email manifest every two hours for today's date plus two days. It also might be wise for me to set up a different email address so that I have a dedicated spot for all my reservation manifests to go to. While we're in this section of the software, I would recommend going back into the standard settings tab and setting up these options here. I'll set the send copies of all outgoing confirmation emails to the reservation email address to yes. I would also recommend setting up the send copies of all outgoing payment receipts to the following email to yes and enter the email address I would like the copy to go to. Next, I would recommend turning off the send modified confirmations on save so that you and your team get into the habit of manually sending out modified email confirmations that will include your general email box and you don't bombard your clients with updates by fixing clerical mistakes or typos that you might have to fix and save. Here's how you can send out a modified confirmation manually. It's pretty much the same as sending out a general confirmation email. However, we'll check the box here. This checkbox will put the words modified in the subject line so it's easier to tell the confirmation emails apart from the ones that have been modified. Next, we will go set up a reporting and analytics report that we can run at the end of each day or each week, depending on how busy we are or how many changes we do each day. Click on the reports button in the toolbar, then go to the reporting and analytics tab. We will select the reservation manifest dash detailed option. Select our date range. In this case, I'll set it to a month due to having limited trip count in my training system. And then we will click the generate report button. Once the report has been generated, I can customize the layout by placing my mouse on the header of the column I want to move to click the two line icon, hold it down while dragging it where I want it to go. If I'd like to get rid of a column, I'll hover my mouse over the header and wait for the trash can icon to appear. Once I see it, I'll select it to get rid of that column. Since we're using this report as a backup file, I'd highly suggest adding the passenger's phone number and add the additional passenger list to this report. We can do this by clicking the Columns button, then select the Plus button. We will select Contacts and then the passenger phone number. I'll use the Save and Add Another button to continue adding more fields without causing more steps for myself. Now let's add the additional passenger list by going into the contacts again, select the additional passenger list option, then select the save button. We can reorganize the columns here as well by hovering our mouse over the field that we would like to move and then use the two line icon to drag it where we want it. Once we have the information in the order we want, we will save the report so that we can easily get to the same layout later without doing all the work over. Click on the save button and give it a name like custom manifest. Now that I've saved the report, I'll show you how to use the canned report and export the information into a CSV file, which is an Excel format. I'll open a new reporting tab by clicking the plus button here. Then I'll select the report template of custom reports. Next, I'll select the custom manifest report option. Last, I'll select the date range that I would like this report to generate from. Once the report has been generated, you should see an export button in the top right. We will select that and then choose CSV format. There might be some companies who would like a list of all their driver's phone numbers. You can do this under the main reporting tab in the same section. We will go to my reports, 
We'll locate the My Office Report section, select the type of report as driver, then choose if you want active or inactive drivers, last generate the report. This list will be saved in an XLS format which is also Excel. If you like a full client list you can go to the accounts button in the toolbar, then go to the export customers list. Next you will either check the fields that you want on the list or select the include all fields checkbox. And last select the generate export file button. The tab labeled email list will give you a list of all the people that don't have accounts but who have either booked a ride or requested a quote. You'll select the date range or keep it set to all, select your export preferences, select if you want the contact information from reservations, quotes, or both, then generate the file. If having your account's information is important to you, I would also recommend setting up an email to be sent to you when someone goes to your website and creates a new account. We can do this by going into the My Office button in the toolbar, then under the Company Settings tab, we'll go to the Messaging and Template Settings except instead of staying in the general section we'll go into the notification section then we'll add our email address to the field labeled notification email for new accounts created by customer while in this section it also might be a good idea to set up the rest of the info if you haven't already let's not forget to save our changes and there you have it there are a lot of ways to get information out of limo anywhere you just have to know where to look if there is something that you're interested in getting out please give our support team a call or email us we're always happy to help